After walking an hour, we hear wild turkeys. It's my first chance to use my blowpipe for real. Really close. <laughs> but, and I saw them really close, twice. But just never got a chance. Every time I got this thing into place, they were already wandered off. They knew I was there and just too fast waddling through the undergrowth. These guys would have just snapped it in seconds, but they're just not quick enough. Three of the spider monkeys that have fallen have got babies. Three. I know that's the reality here, but. That's just the reality here. It's just stuck a, a dart into its tail to speed up the process. Two of the babies will be adopted. This one, however, is too young to survive. There's been like two or three shotguns fired, but most of this kill here is from these blowpipes. And uh, as you're walking along, or when I was in the middle of the monkeys just then, you just hear a crash, boom, crash, boom, as all these animals are just falling around you. Um, you never hear anything other than just that. It's quite eerie, spooky. Another hunter has hit a woolly monkey. I'm told to finish it off. I can't take any credit at all for killing it. Um, I got there just as this guy had shot it and then he ran on because he wanted to go and get more because they were still in the trees. But he was insistent before he left, right, you must get more darts in, you must get more darts in because otherwise it might not die. There might not be enough poison in it. So I just had to stand there and just keep firing, keep firing. And out of like 20 shots, I must have got two in. It's been quite a busy morning. We've got 11 woolly monkeys, six spider monkeys, two or three of the jungle fowl birds and a uh, collared peccary. So quite a lot of meat. 